guys, Melon here, and today we're going to be talking about some more Owl House Season 3 predictions and theories that we all had. Specifically, a lot of the stuff that was commented below on my last Owl House video. I just want to go in depth on some of my answers, maybe get a little more details, and just sort of spread the word of what I thought was coming in Season 3. Before we do that though, I would just like to give everyone a huge thank you for 200 subscribers. I am so shocked, you don't even understand how surprised I am that that's a thing that I have, because why? <laughs> I feel like I really do not deserve it. But anyways, you guys are amazing, so thank you so much for 200 subscribers. Anyways, let's get into the actual video. So first I'd like to talk about the idea of Bellows possessing or working together with Jacob Hopkins. If you don't remember who Jacob Hopkins is, he's the crazy crackpot theorist who was trying to capture me during season 2 episode 10, Yesterday's Lie. Throughout the episode, Jacob Hopkins clearly thought of himself as a bit of a witch hunter, and a lot of people can see Bellows possibly running into him during his time in the human realm. This could possibly lead to them finding the original portal that allowed Philip and Caleb to enter the demon realm all those years ago. Another theory with Jacob is that Bellows could simply possess him. If this does end up happening, I can see this being similar to Bill Cipher and a Ford from Gravity Falls type situation, where Ford had allowed Bill to possess him temporarily as part of a deal they had. Hopkins may make a deal with Bellows and allow him to use his body. Either way, it'd be cool to see. I would love to see more Hopkins. Now this is actually a very similar theory, but Hunter being possessed is also going around all over the internet right now. So the Bellows possessing Hunter theory isn't actually a personal favorite for me. I'm hoping the crew takes Hunter's character in a different direction, but if it did happen, I could see it happening in a way similar to Venom from the MCU. I actually haven't even watched the newest Venom movie, so we're going off of what I know from Spider-Man 3. Anyways, in Spider-Man 3, Venom is an alien life form that attaches itself to a host and amplifies certain emotions like aggression, and eventually, in the Spectacular Spider-Man series, the suit starts to wear Peter when he's not even conscious. This could be an interesting direction for Hunter's character as he could slowly grow distant from the group as Bellows' effect on him is becoming stronger, until eventually, he's just a puppet for Bellows, being worn while he's not even conscious, just like Peter was. Either way, I still don't like this theory, but I might just be a little bit biased because Hunter's my favorite character. I obviously want him to have a nice happy ending and to stop being horribly traumatized. Like, please Dana. <laughs> Next up, the fate of Lumity. So many of you guys were asking if I thought Lumity would break up, which I thought was kind of weird since I thought I made it clear that I didn't think they would in the last video, but I'm just gonna reassure you guys, I don't see it happening. Lumity is done. Lumity is canon. They are sticking together. They are making it work. Again, Dana fought very hard for this ship, and to me, it's one of the best LGBT relationships in children's media today, if not the best. I'd really hate to see them split. I could see Amity moving to the human realm with Luz if she chooses to stay there, or the two of them just living together in the demon realm. I just don't see them breaking up as a possibility, like, at all. Going from that though, I'd like to talk about Camila's fate. If Luz chooses to stay in the human realm, I could see Camila welcoming Amity with open arms like she did with V. However, I don't see Camila moving to the demon realm. Some people have said in my comments that they see Camila moving there to support Luz and her goals, but Camila's her own person too, and she seems to enjoy her quiet life in the human realm. We have to remember that Camila sent Luz to that camp at the beginning of the show for a reason. She isn't into all of that weird stuff, and I can't see her being happy in the demon realm. It would be a beautiful sacrifice for her to make as a mother, but at the same time, she's still her own person, and her own happiness is important too. I'd rather see a permanent portal be created so Luz can visit home often, rather than Camila having to move to the demon realm to be with her daughter. I just don't want that for her. Anyways, those are all the predictions I want to talk about today, just want to make a quick little video. Again, I'd like to thank you all for the overwhelming support I've been getting on these videos. You guys are insane, and I really, really do appreciate it. I'm going to be uploading more videos every week from now on, so if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this. Also, comment below any games or shows you're interested in and you would like to hear my opinion on. I will talk about any theories, games, shows, media, anything you guys are interested in. Seriously, I want to talk about it all. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, you are amazing and I love you so much. Thank you guys. Bye.